So Yesware is a very powerful tool, and if you're watching this video, you probably already know that. Basically, it's a plugin that you can install to your Gmail, and when you send out emails, once the recipient opens them, you get notified. And subsequently, if they reopen them uh, again and again, you also get notified. So it's very powerful, and it's, it's an awesome tool if you want to track prospects, leads, and so forth. But I don't want other people to be tracking uh, when I open their email. So no, it's a bit of a double standard there. But if you are on the same boat as me, uh, I'm going to walk you through how to um, uh, basically disable that. And so on, uh, you know, if you go how to block basically yes, where you have got a bunch of tutorials about disabling images and so forth in your email. But let's face it, that's a pain they behind, and I don't want to do that because I actually want. Um, especially if, for some of the newsletters I subscribe to, I don't want to just, just see a bunch of uh, X's off the bat. So, you know, with this method, you won't have to mess with any of those uh, configurations at all. We're strictly just blocking Yesware. Um, and so what you want to do is, you want to open Notepad um, as administrator first. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to close this file because I have open. And I'm going to go to search and then type notepad. And then if you're on Windows 8, basically you would just go here uh, after finding yeah, the notepad uh, application and then right click and then click on run as administrator. If you're on a previous version of Windows, you would uh, just right click on notepad and then uh, on the right click menu, there'll be an option that says run as administrator. So go ahead and click on that and they'll ask you if you want to confirm or continue, yes. Um, and once you have this open, uh, what we want to do is, now, before I go any further, I want to go through two URLs with you. One is app.yesware.com. That is responsible for the actual app that loads into your Gmail. Uh, it's basically this thing right here. Um, basically, click here, see who's, you know, open your email. And the other URL I want to note is t.yesware.com. Now, this is the app, so you don't want to turn this off, although you could if, if you don't plan to use it. And t.yesware.com, that's the tracking pixel. That is the uh, pixel that your computer opens, uh, and that's what notifies Yesware servers, and you know, they notify your, the, you know, the person that sent you the email when you've opened it. So in order to block this, basically I got to remap the host files. Now, what you want to do is copy and paste this URL, well, type this URL in, I'm copy and pasting it, but it's basically system root, you gotta make sure you have these on the side, and then system 32, drivers, and the etc, or etc. I'm gonna go to file, open, I'm already in this folder, so I'm gonna change the desktop just to illustrate. But once you type that in and you press enter, Basically, bam, takes you to that folder. And you want to type in the word host. Now it's not gonna show up here because host is a, uh, 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 it's a hidden file. So you actually have to type in host and then click on open and bam, it opens that. So now what we want to do is, now before we do make any changes, I'm gonna show you something. If I go to, um, and you don't have to necessarily do this, uh, but I'm just showing you as an example. If I go to ping, and then app.yesware.com. See how the, it, it gives me uh, a reading for Amazon AWS servers, and that's probably where Yesware is hosting the images and data for, or, uh, for all of this. Now, if I go back here and I do a ping t.yesware.com, basically, uh, same thing except you know different IP for their tracking pixels. Now what I want to do is type in um, 127.0.0.1 and then I'm gonna show you this app.yesware.com and then I'm gonna type this in. Keep in mind you don't have to type that. I'm just showing you something as an example. So now if I click on uh, go to file and save and I type in IP config flush DNS. Basically, that will clear the internal DNS settings uh, on my uh, uh, computer. Now, if I go to ping app.yesware.com, 
see how now it's pinging my local host or my machine instead of uh, uh, pinging uh, uh, Amazon AWS, which is um, Yesware servers. So, so if I go here, what's interesting is because I have, I blocked this, refresh, bam, gone. So, so that's the power of remapping URLs using your host files. Now, um, if I also uh, ping t.yesword.com, see how it's no longer, uh, it's pinging my local host and it's no longer um, pinging uh, Yesware servers. Now I've done this, I've, I've tested it, uh, but ran a bunch of tests and, and this method works. Uh, maybe in the future they see this video and they'll change how you know they implement it, but for now um, this method uh, uh, works, it's uh, solid. And you know, if, if you follow these steps and don't fully understand what just happened, let me try to recap it. So basically, before if I open an email that has a tracking pixel, when, I, when my computer downloads that tracking pixel, it sends a ping to the to Yesware's um, a, a server, and Yesware will notify your sender. But now, when that same picture loads, um, instead of pinging Yesware, it's just the ping goes back, or the the, the header request goes back to your local host. So Yesware never will receive that um, the, the signal that you've opened that tracking pixel and hence your sender will not be able to find out when you've opened it. Um, so hopefully uh, you found this uh, video tutorial helpful and if you have, make sure you like this video, um, share with friends, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and also, um, you know, yeah, and I got a lot of like cool videos on how to's on a whole bunch of other stuff on my YouTube channel. Uh, so definitely subscribe to that. Um, and go to my blog, yanshanghuang.com, um, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Google+, Instagram, feel free to subscribe to my mailing list as well. Other than that, uh, thank you very much for watching this video and thank you for subscribing.